Good evening, students. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Um, kind of tired <laughs> because I'm actually arriving to my home. Okay, understand, sir. A little bit tired. Yes, and according to that, I, I want to tell you that I'm going to be only the first hour as a listener because I, I usually uh, did a lot of things in my home for tomorrow. So I, I try to hurry up to do those things and in order to get all connected in this class. Okay, very nice, good, awesome. Okay, teacher. And also I want to uh, ask you something about the platform because I already uh, did all the exercise, but uh, I don't remember, I think it was the third exercise. Unit, unit three, I yes. Yeah. I can do it, and I I I think that I can understand about the what exactly we have to do. But I try, but I don't know. If it was a platform because even I only copy copy and paste the same, and I just I add uh, the the commas, but mm -hmm. nothing, and I, I don't know. But yeah. all the thing all. The unit three, I already completed. Yeah, you got a percentage here, twenty five percent. Maybe the rest is because uh, the ones that you think uh, you got a mistake, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. What about you, Belen? Ah, Belen. Sorry, Devi. How are you, Belen? My God. How are you, Devi? Good evening. I'm good. Ready for the class? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Okay. What about you, Roberto? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are I, you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Very nice. Awesome. Ready for the class? Uh, yes, teacher. But in, in a few minutes, I, I'm going to drive. And I, I think the first part of the class, I'm, I am believe listen only. Okay. Very nice. Awesome. Good evening, Aminda, how are you? 
Hello, teacher. I am tired today, but I try to attend the, the class and participate oh. too. Okay, very nice, awesome. Good. Okay. Okay, very nice. And let me check the rest. Now we're going to have an activity today. It's going to be just uh, another part of the uh, unit three in order to start with the unit four because it's the last unit that we're going to attend today uh, as the last week that we have. Remember that we're going to finish next week with this model on Tuesday. Next week, we're going to finish, right? And we're going to be free, I think. I don't know how many days, but I think you're gonna have some days free, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, very nice. Um, what I want you to remember is that you have to stay at class because the minutes, you need to take uh, the minutes necessary in order to be able to get um, registered for the next model. If you don't have the minutes necessary, so you're going to have a, a little bit problems at the moment of registering. For I'm sorry, I think it's the internet. Okay, so uh, you need to register for that um, with the minutes necessary in order to apply, right? Okay, Yvette, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you today? I'm tired, but my day, uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I think everybody is tired today, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Good. Awesome. Uh, it's part of our daily life in order to be tired some days, but we cannot do anything more, right? Yesterday I was tired too. Today I'm a little bit tired, but I think I'm able to finish the class. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, let me listen to Adela. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Very nice. How are you today? I'm tired. Tired too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, with that energy that you were trying to give us, I'm a bit <laughs> stronger, okay? Me está transmitiendo unas energías que... <laughs> si vengo de media vida, Adela, me está dando más vida usted, va? <laughs> okay. I want to sleep. Yeah, I want to sleep too, but <laughs> we have to stay. <laughs> okay, very nice. Uh, Salvador, good evening. How are you? Hi, mister. How are you I'm today? Bad. bad, because I'm sick. Oh, okay. You got a flu? Yes, mister. Okay, very nice. How you get better? Thank you, mister. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'm going to take the attendance list. As soon as you listen to your name, please tell me present, okay? Okay, just give me a second. Oh my God, give me a second. I don't know what happened here. No working properly. Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuera. Present. Very nice. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay, very nice. Belén Patre Garcia. Present, teacher. Very good. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Debbie Yasmin Giron Ramirez. 
Present. Present. Very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Present. Ok. Ever de Jesús Candré Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Ok. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Okay, Leti. Present teacher. Okay, very nice, good. Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Not yet, okay, very nice. Rosibel del Carmen López. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Mr. Very nice. Sonia Ivette Albarenga. Present. Very nice. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, very nice. Good. Awesome. Okay, very nice. So we're going to start today with the class. So yesterday we have uh, some part of the class. Oh, Oscar, yes. Okay, let me check. Oscar. Okay. I'm here. Yes, okay, very nice, good. Okay, very nice. There I have. Okay, yesterday we had an, an activity, right? We have uh, to complete a chart. Uh, I don't know if you finish. Let me, let me share the screen. I think it was this activity. Hello, can you listen to me? Yes. Okay, I don't know what, I think it's my internet, I can't I know what happened. Okay. Uh, did you finish this chart yesterday? Yes, no? sir. Yes, right? Yes. Okay, very nice, good. So we're going to, um, Ah, but you, you were like organizing these ones, right? So we were checking this one yesterday, which were like the less important for you and the ones that were the most important. Okay, at the moment of effects at the productivity. So uh, then we have to uh, match this part of the, the sentences in order to check which one is that correspond to the its uh, meaning, right? So you have to do that and to check if it was the correct one. Okay, um, can you tell me, for example, for you, which which one is number one? If Hello, hello. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what I don't know what's happening. Okay, can you can you watch the screen and listen to me? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Okay, so number one, which one do you have? According to what you made yesterday which one do you have in number one 
Drop chipping. Drop chipping. Yes. Okay, very nice. What about the restaurant? Do you have the same or something different? Debbie? Mm. Uh huh. Which one do you have? Direct shipping. Direct shipping. Yes. Okay. So I mean that has drop shipping, another one has direct shipping. We're going to check which one is the correct. Okay. Direct shipping is the correct. Direct. Yes. Okay. Let's read this part. Uh, I don't know if you can help me to read um Yvette. Um, okay. This is a, met, a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. Very good. This is a method of delivering goods from suppliers to the customer directly. So there is no channel there, right? It's directly one. So that's why in this case is direct shipping. Okay. It's a direct one. Okay, very nice, good. Okay, let's let's go with number two. What about number two? I don't know if you can help me to read this uh, concept, Aminda. Uh, the second. Yes, second one, yes. Okay, uh, it is operate as independent business offering a range, a range, range. of service. mm -hmm. services. Services. Services, such as storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of as a fixed or variable fee. Fee, very nice. Okay, operated. This word, operated. Uh, it's operated. Yes, okay, very nice, good. Okay. It's an operated as independent business offering a range of services, such as storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of a fixed or variable fee. Okay, so that's that we have there, right? Okay, good. So which one is the concept that match according to the ones that we have above? Which one do you have in here? Warehouse. Which one? Private warehouse. Private. Private. Okay, very nice. Do someone have another different? Contract warehouse. Which one? Contract warehouse. Contract warehouse. Okay, very nice. Okay, so we have uh private warehouse and contract. Warehouse. Okay, somebody else, do you have something different or the same? Okay, let's check. So it says it is operated as independent business. Independent business, the keyword, right? Offering a rate of services such as storage, Handling and transportation of the basis of a fixed or variable fee. It's a private warehouse, right? Okay, it's a private one, private warehouse. Very good. So we have a ready private warehouse and we have direct shipping, right? Very good. Very good, Asa. Let's go with a third concept. Let me listen to uh, let me listen to Devi. Uh, warehouse <clears throat> warehouse owned by a third 
party entity. This warehouse provides especially specially specialized specialized service mm -hmm. in addition to allowing the client to store goods. Okay, warehouse owned by a third party entity. These warehouses provide specialized services in addition to allowing the client to storage goods. Okay, warehouse owned by a third party entity. Okay, this warehouse provides specialized service in addition to allowing the client to storage goods. In this case, which one do you have? Contract warehouse. Okay, contract warehouse. What about the rest? The same? The same. Okay, it's contract ha warehouse. Very nice, good, awesome. So we have the first third one. Okay, let's go with the next one, number four. Uh, let me listen, Rosibel, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, can you work with number number three? Can you please read it? Yes. Yeah. The retailer does not, not keep group in stock, but instead transfer customer orders and ship them the tariffs to the manufacturer and draw the tariff for a full service. Full service. Who then ships the goods directly to the customer? Okay, the retailer does not keep goods in stock, but instead of transfer customers' orders and shipment details to the manufacturer, another retail or a wholesaler, who then ships the goods directly to the customer? Okay, this is uh, one of the concepts that we have. So, which one do you have? Drop shipping at public warehouse. Drop shipping. Which one? Drop shipping. Yeah. Okay, this is drop shipping. Very good. Okay, drop shipping. A drop shipping is a way like we have a triangle with different right, ways, right? You make uh, like um, you work with other entities in order to help you to uh, provide a service to a customer. So you work in that way, okay? You don't, you don't do directly. You can also send by the different company in order to get to customer the product. Okay, very good. Next one. Can you please read this one, uh, Carlos? Okay, teacher. It's a storage facility that is open to the general public. While this kind of big warehouse is used by private individuals, they are also used by companies of a small to medium size to store their goods safely. Okay. It is a storage facility that is open to a general public. While this kind of warehouse is used by private individuals, they are also used by companies of small to medium size to store their goods safely. So, of course, this is public warehouse, right? Right. Okay, public warehouse, very nice, good, awesome. Okay, here we have one of the activities that we were working the last time, right? Uh, when we use a conditional, right? It says here, how to use clauses with, the, with when and if to express future conditions, okay? Future conditions, so in this case, when and if, right? Do you remember I ever explained it? When or if, describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. So this is uh, what do you think is going to happen? It's a probability or maybe it is something that you, okay, think is going to happen in the future. So, for example, here, uh, can you please uh, read this first example? Uh, Yvette. Mm -hmm. 
I can see. Ah, the, the yellow, mark yellow. Yes, the when, yellow. When there are inaccurate purchase orders, customer satisfaction will be compromised. Com Compromised. 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 Or customer satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders. Okay, very good. Thank you. Do you remember the last time I told you you can use uh, these sentences at the beginning? Or you can use it at the end, right? When there are inaccurate purchase orders, customer satisfaction will be compromised. So this is the reason. This is the result. This is the reason. This is the result, right? I'm sorry, this is this is the reason, this is the result. So you can change the order and you can uh, just separate them by a comma. When you have the connector, when or when, of course, when I got the beginning, so the comma is going to be at the middle. But if you don't have one at the beginning and you have the middle, you don't need a comma, right? Because it's clear at the moment of using. So you can use it too with if, if you want to apply it. For example, let me listen to um, Adela. Can you please read it? If there is a lack of communication between employees, productivity, why decrease will decrease will decrease or productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees okay very nice if there is a lack of communication between employees productivity will decrease productivity will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees so that's the fact right that's the fact good so uh, this is the topic that we already seen. So it's going to be easy for you, okay? It's not going to be difficult. Okay, let me check this part of the notice. Can you please read it, Aminda? Okay. Notice that the when if clause is expressed in present tense, and the independent, independent clause express future tense with will. Yes, as I told you the last time, right? That we, we have to notice that when we use when or if, it's going to be in present, right? The sentence is going to be in present. And that we have the result with will. So that's what I told you the last time. Do you remember when we, we were talking about that we have some different ways of using uh, conditions. But in this case, this is the second condition, the first condition, sorry, and is talk about a future possibility, a future um, result, right? That you think is going to happen. Okay, so right now uh, we have an activity here. So we have five sentences. We have to arrange these five sentences correctly, okay? So, but if you read here, uh, let me check. Um, let me listen to Debbie. Can you please read the one that I match in yellow? Mm -hmm. Rewrite. Rewrite the sentence below to make a statement using clause, clauses with when and if expressing future, modify the verb when necessary, check answers with a classmate. Okay, it says rewrite the sentences below to make statements using clauses with when and if expressing future. Modify the verb when necessary. Shake answer with the classmates. Okay, so right now you're going to be working in this part, uh, trying to modify some sentence with when, if, when, when, and if. So do you, you need to, uh, for example, be clear what is the correct way of using the conditions, okay? So that's the one they're gonna have. You have two sentences in there. 
you need to check which one is the one that is uh, going to be with when and which one is the one that is going to be with um, the result, okay, with will. Okay, is it clear? Students? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice, good. Yes, teacher. Okay, and then, um, no, go, go, work with this. And then we're going to have, uh, we're going to be back in order to have another activity, okay? I'm going to create the regular rooms right now in order to push you to work. Okay. Let me listen here. Okay, if uh, suddenly you have any problem in the moment of working, just let me know, okay, in order to go to your room in order to check. Okay, there we go. Just let me know if you have any problem, okay? Hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Adela. You, your, um, your classmates are now able, Carlos. I think no. Okay, Adela, are you there? She was, yeah, she's here. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. When the organization, okay? When the first one, the organization of the dog is bad. Time is wasted, wasted over unnecessary tasks. We use when, when to organization, okay? And When the organization of dog is bad, if time is wasted over unnecessary task. Do you agree? Or what think about? At all. Hola, hola. Hola. Igual, when the organization of the dog is bad. I think it's if, if time is wasted, wasted. Mm -hmm. Over unnecessary task.
or if the organization of the dog is bad. When? When, when time is wasted, wasted, wasted. Over unnecessary tasks. Me parece tan mal, ¿eh? Entonces sería, y si sería así, the organization of the dog is bad when time is wasted over unnecessary task. No, verdad. ¿Cómo piensa usted que sería toda la oración? Pues analizando la no, está mejor que hay en medio. La organización es mala. Uh -huh. Le escucho muy bien. La organización of the dog is back. When time is Report, inaccurate report. Report, aquí sería en... Coma. Ajá, uh -huh, coma. And money. Will be lost. Will be lost. Okay. And the source. When the warehouse space is limited. This is limit. So the, uh, there is a disorganization. There will be disorganization. No se le escucha. No se le entiende. Hola. Hola. No se escucha tan bien, bien que digamos. No sé si será mi internet. ¿sí? Ah, ahorita sí. Okay. Okay, uh, you were in the tablet, David? Sí. Uh, you can share the screen? Mm, or, okay, or no. Um, no, because I see the manual in my cell phone. You see? Yeah. Yes, yes. Teacher. Yes. I have a problem in on the platform mm -hmm. with the three point five. <laughs> La 3.5 en la tarea. I don't uh, know. Okay, with the 
let me check here, let me check. Um, uh, uh, homework 3.5. Yes. Okay, let me check here. The organization of the dogs. Okay, in which part do you have problems? All of them. All of them? Yes, all of them. Um, oh, okay. This uh, It says, um, instructions, read the warehouse uses below. Apply the corresponding punctuation. Okay, we have number one, remove items from cartoons and packages. As a result, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. Ahí lo que necesitamos hacer es eh, utilizar las puntuaciones, ya sea una coma, ¿verdad? Mm, o el punto no. coma, o la, o la punto y la coma, lo que estuvimos trabajando la vez pasada. <coughs> ¿Se recuerda? ¿Y solo vamos a poner el punto y coma o coma? Si no, no, eso, eso es lo que no le entiendo. Sí. Ok, very nice, perdón. No le van a modificar nada al texto que tienen ahí. Sino que solamente van a, a ver, ¿se recuerdan de que teníamos, eh, vimos un, una parte de, para dar resultados? Mm. As a result, as a consequence. Son uh -huh. ideas que hasta estuvieron trabajando uh -huh. en esa actividad, ¿se recuerdan? Uh -huh. Ok, lo que van a hacer ahí es, ustedes van a ver dónde está la que nos indica el resultado y lo van a poner ya sea antes una punto y coma o el punto y la coma al final después mm. de eso okay. ya se recuerda qué parte fue la que vimos de las cláusulas hola de las cláusulas yes mm -hmm. ajá O sea, al mismo texto hay que agregarle, digamos, el punto y coma o algo así. La coma, ajá. Ajá, el punto y coma y el punto después, ¿verdad? Porque lleva así, pero cuando estamos hablando de las cláusulas de results. Ok. Bueno, luego voy a intentar porque no sé. <ríe> ok, very nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay, what's the deal? The organization of the talks is if when time is worse. No le escucho bien, Rosibel. De organismo, hoy sí. Sí, ahorita sí. <risa> ok, es el put de Wemba. Uh -huh. Ajá, aquí se puede poner. When the organization of the dog is bad. Yeah. We win or if describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. Pero después de un win. Siempre va un, aquí va un B, aquí va un decrease. Uh -huh. 
el, el buen de oración. Buen time. Es una oración. Dice, the organization of the dog is bad when time is wasting over necessary tasks. Así se dice. One time. Hmm. When, when they are there was a will, um, so you can't get a will. Ya sea antes, antes del buen o, o después del buen. O sea que le faltaría el will. Mm -hmm. Entonces pienso que podría ser. Eh, when the organization of the dog is bad, pero no cabe will the time. O podríamos poner the organization. When, cuando el tiempo se pierde. When time the is time is lost. Hoy no Entonces, pero ¿dónde pones el tiempo? No será que el will, el, ah, es que tiene que ir el will. Es que no hay como cómo poner el will en, en ninguno de los dos sentidos. La vemos la segunda. Sí, Pero segundo. póngale el when. Póngale el when. ¿A dónde? Antes de time, no. De organizar. Hay momentos en que, que solo solo conmigo, o sea, o me ve en la máquina y ya quiere venir. Ah, eh. sí. Está chiquitito, está pequeñito. Teacher, what happened? Do you finish teacher? already? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. How was it? Eh, it's not complicated exercise. Yeah, it's easy. Because it's of easy. Your... Because we already practiced the last time at the beginning of the model. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's a bit uh, uh, easy right now because you got idea, right? Yes. Okay, very nice. We're going to be back in a, in a few minutes right now. Okay, perfect. Thank yeah. Y va al kinder, no, vea, está bien pequeñito, un gañito. En la guardería le toca estar. Ay, no. Pero le gusta estar en guardería. Sí, se ha adaptado. Ahí juega bastante. Porque mi hija, cuando estaba pequeñita, la dejábamos en guardería, pero a ella no le gustaba. Ella, ella odia eso. Ay, pobrecita. Sí, no le gustaba. Ella odia, dice que es lo peor del mundo. Dios mío. Sí, así pero, decía. Cuando, él en porque... teoría le gusta porque no me dicen, mire, he estado mal, ¿verdad? Lo uh -huh. veo normal, pues no lo veo ni triste o, o así. Sí. So, for, if there is lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill orders. <laughs> We can in the middle. There is a lot of communication. If the time to fulfill or increase. What do you think, Adele? So let me eat this at <clears throat> beginning. If lack of communication between the time to fulfill orders increases. I'm not sure. But I... I'm right. 
I think we can try with this in the beginning. Okay. And this is only, only work. Okay, do you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Right now we're going to check if you got the correct ones. Okay, let me, I'm gonna show the screen. Can you watch the screen? Yes. Okay, let's check number one. Okay, let's go with number one. Which one do you have? Volunteer, you want? I don't know if you volunteer want to tell me what you, which one is the correct order, or how do we use it correctly with the first conditional. Mm -hmm. Me teacher. Okay, very nice. Okay, when the organization of the dove is bad, the time will be wasted uh, over unnecessary task. Okay, vamos a ver. When the organization of the dog is bad, time will be will be wasted over unnecessary tasks. Yes. Okay. Very nice, good. Do someone else have another different way of using it or the same? Do you have the same? Hello? Okay, very nice. Okay, is is correct. The ones that I mean they have is correct. Okay, when the organization of the dog is bad, time will be waste over unnecessary task. Very good, Aminda. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank to you. Let's go with number two. What about number two? What about the rest of the class? What about Adela? Which one do you have, Adela, in number two? If the financial department sends inaccurate report, money is lost. If the, if the financial, right? If the financial. Yeah. Okay, if the financial department sends inaccurate reports, money 
will be lost. Ah, oh, will be lost. Okay, very nice, good. Correct, that's the correct one, good. Let's go with the next one, number three. Okay, what about number three? Can you help me with number three, Carlos? Okay, when the warehouse space is limited, there will be disorganization. Okay, when the warehouse space limited, there will be disorganization. Very good, awesome. Very nice. Let's go with number four. Can you please do number four? Let me listen, Debbie. The employees open boxes and count items when time is wasted. When time is waste. Waste. Okay. Oh. Employees open boxes. Así lo tiene, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, very nice. Uh, ¿Alguien tiene something different? ¿Alguien más la tiene diferente? ¿O the same? When the employee. Ah, okay. When the employees open boxes and count items. Very nice. When, ¿verdad? Time will be waste. ¿Verdad? Ok, entonces sería acá al inicio. When, con esta parte de acá. When employees open boxes and count items. Time will be. Que necesitamos el will be, ¿verdad? Waste. Ok, very nice. Let's go with number five. What about number five? Ok, can you, can you help me with number five? Let me listen here to... Okay, let me share. Okay, I think everybody that wants Yvette. Which one do you have number five? Yvette, are you there? Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, very nice. Which, which one do you have in number five? Yeah. There is lack of and sorry, is there is lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill orders will be increased. Okay, very nice. There is a lack of coming if there is a lack of communication between employees, the time to fulfill orders will verdad will increase single B. Solamente sería will increase, ¿verdad? Sir, sure. ¿en qué caso no va a llevar el be? No, porque aquí no, aquí no tiene el be, solamente tiene un verbo. Ah, ¿verdad? entendí. Ajá, en algunos le hemos puesto acá, por ejemplo, el be, porque aquí está el is. Uh -huh. Ok, is. es cierto. Entonces ya lo ponemos sin derivación, ¿verdad? Be. Ok, very nice, good. Awesome. Ok, this part is easy because we're very practiced, right? Nosotros lo practicamos la vez pasada. Very good. Ahora vamos a pasar a esta parte. Vamos a ver si me ayuda a leer um, esa parte del texto. Um, let me listen to Adela. I will be able to provide safety measures relate to different processes at a warehouse. Provide safety measures related to different processes at the war warehouse. Very nice, good. Okay, let's go with this one. I don't know if you can help me to read, Aminda. Okay, uh, let's start. Hazards, materials, and machinery are always found in warehouse. How do you keep your employees or of danger. What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? Okay. Hazardous. Do you know what's the meaning of hazardous? It's materiales peligrosos. Okay, very nice. Good. 
Very nice. When you talk about tractors, it's a material that is dangerous for uh, human beings, right? Uh, the para los humanos, right? Because the chemicals that it has. Okay. So it says, um, hazardous materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse. O sea, que siempre en una bodega, ¿verdad? Vamos a encontrar los materiales, ¿verdad? O la maquinería que puede ser, en este caso, peligroso, ¿verdad? Y ese siempre lo vamos a encontrar en la warehouse. Y aquí tenemos la pregunta, how do you keep your employees out of danger? ¿Cómo puede mantener a sus empleados fuera de peligro? ¿verdad? How do you keep your employees out of danger? Y viene la otra pregunta, what kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? Okay, those are the questions, right? Okay, vamos ahorita, ¿verdad? A trabajar en dos cosas. Primero vamos a ir a discutir estas dos preguntas. Esta que está acá, how do you keep your employees um, out of danger, right? Y la segunda es, what kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? Eso lo van a discutir ustedes allá cuando vayan al grupo, ¿ok? Y luego vamos a practicar la lectura de este texto, ¿verdad? Vamos a leer este texto. Y acá nos dan, por ejemplo, algunas measures uh, that you could start implementing with your team, ¿ok? Van a leer acá las que tenemos from A to H. And after that, you're going to classify from general housekeeping, files and other preventable mishaps, manual lifting and for freeze material handling equipment. So we're going to um, to talk about these ones and we're going to classify them, okay? Los vamos a clasificar en esa, en esa parte que están a, ahí, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando de, de que tenemos que leer ese texto y después de leer ese texto clasificarlos según acá, ¿verdad? En estas cajas que están abajo, ¿verdad? Ok, para saber eh, dónde lo podemos utilizar, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, no sé si más o menos eh, entendieron lo que vamos a hacer. Yes? No, teacher. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Vamos a ir a discutir estas dos preguntas. La primera es esta, ¿verdad? How do you keep your employees out of danger? Hasta aquí. Eso solo lo vamos a discutir entre ustedes, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes piensan? ¿Ok? ¿Cómo pueden hacer para mantener a sus empleados si digamos que ustedes tuvieran una, una warehouse, ¿verdad? Y la otra es, ¿qué tipo de materiales o, o químicos pueden encontrar en una, eh, una bodega? Eso solo va a ser speaking. Luego de eso, ustedes van a venir y van a leer todo esto que está acá, este párrafo, ¿verdad? Y luego acá tenemos una lista, ¿verdad? De algunas medidas a implementar con su equipo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, y esto, lo que ustedes van a hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, porque ustedes aquí están dando un, un, en ese párrafo, le están dando un proceso como que ustedes pueden prevenir eh, algunos accidentes o algo. Entonces, ustedes van a poner acá eh, según lo que están acá, la letra de cuál ustedes creen que va con general housekeeping, false and other preventable mishaps, manual lifting, and forklifts and material handling equipment. Ustedes van a poner, por ejemplo, si creen que la C va acá, ponen la letra C. Si creen que acá va la G, entonces ponen la letra G. Y así sucesivamente. La que ustedes consideren que va acorde a lo que ustedes están leyendo en esa parte. Eso es lo que van a colocar acá. No sé si hoy sí está más clarito. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, very nice, kid. Solo quiero, uh, Belén, are you ready right, right now? No, ok. Mariano, now are you ready? No, teacher, I'm the room in my house. Ok, very nice, kid. Let me, okay, we create the orders. Okay. Robert, are you ready? Unfortunately. Sorry, teacher, I still, I still driving. Okay, 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 very nice.
I'm gonna try to order here. Okay. Very nice. Um, Don't expect okay. employees to start with a culture. The platform for the what? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No, I know. I know. So how do you keep your employees out of dangers? Let me. The, uh, the page, the page, the page, thirty-two. I think if we keep the employees safe, what? using what? using, ¿cómo se dice? Casco. O usando, using the equipment, the um, equipment. Equip where? <laughs> Teacher, where is valid for a EPP? Which one? Eh, es usar where es válido para equipo de protección personal. Uh, where? Where. Ah, uh -huh. ah, dígame el context, ¿cómo lo quiero utilizar? Eh, usar o eh, equipo de protección personal. Ok, ok, pero, pero la oración, ¿cómo sería la que la, que la quiere formar? Mm, eh, de people. Eh... Oh, we, we keep our employees out mm. of danger if they. Use, no sé, use or wear, or okay. wear. personal, personal protect equipment. Ah, ah, equipment. ah, ok, ahí Algo sí ya le, ahí, ahí sí ya le comprendí mejor. Ajá, ok, ok, employees, Nada. ¿verdad? Está bien, employees are out of danger if, eh, ahí puede ser they use. Use, uh -huh. they use, ah, ok, ok, uh -huh. they use. Um, what kind of dangerous material and chemical may be found in a warehouse? Maybe toxic. Uh, chemical, chemical toxic. Um, some like. Uh, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ay, volvió a perder la página, pero... <ríe> ok, ya la tengo. Si le la mano, lo Vamos. Uh, but okay. Materials, hazardous, ha, hazardous, hazardous. Materials and, and, match, and machinery are always found in warehouse. Um, folks. Okay. Um, no, pero dice. 
discutir la, la, los materiales y máquinas que siempre están en, que siempre se encuentran en una en una bodega uh -huh. dangerous material in chemical may be found over uh, bueno sí podría Esta... ser un montacargas pero creo que con, depende de porque hay un personal para manejarlo verdad uh -huh. ¿Pero estamos en la primera parte o, o ya se va a clasificar él? Acá en los cuadritos. No, primero teníamos que responder esas dos preguntas. Hmm. Ah, ok. Eh, ¿Cuáles son? Ajá, montacargas. Eh, Pallets. Pallets. Ven a red con pesada. Teacher. Ay, Dios, San Cudo. Yes. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Chemicals o chemicals. 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 Como que fuera con Q. Chemicals. Chemicals, ok. Chemicals. Chemicals. Like alcohol or. ¿Cómo se dice? Aceite. I don't Oil. Oil. Uh, I have an internet. Can you hear me well? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How do you forgive for the use of or dangerous? Of dangerous. What do you think? In my company, no problem. De ese tipo. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. There is a problem with the plat and the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, 3.9. 3.9. 3.9. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check right now. 3.5. 9. Number 3. No. Ah, uh, 9. 9. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Number three, no. Se dice esta. It's missing. No, es. It's missing. Okay. Number three is missing. Uh, missing, how mm -hmm. come? Mana lifting, no, no. It's not no, the there are uh, answer. Lo que se dice. There are no answer. Yeah. Mm. No, because I I don't show one, two, three. I have three, three, three answers, but when the complete use is or say partially correct, give give fifteen and twenty pounds. Okay, so number three is the one that you don't have correctly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give you the answer, okay? Because I'm, a, I want you to finish, okay? Is C and E. Yeah, but yeah, but but the platform not three and four uh, together. I don't know how to say it. 
Ajá. La tres y la yo cuatro están el... juntas. Vida. Ay, can I share my screen? Yeah, share it. No, deja de compartir. Okay. Here. Uh, three and four are joined. And one only have one. One. Oh. Word for three. One word, yeah. and for three. And the, the end, uh, this, the message is... 20 points, but maybe it's correct, like because we don't have more. Ah, more ah, yeah, yeah. Now I got what you tell me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me report. Uh, can you take a screenshot of that part? Puede tomar una captura de pantalla esa parte y enviármela para yo reportarla. Se lo envío por donde por WhatsApp. Uh -huh. okay. okay, very nice. Completo o solamente esta parte de, de la tres. Solo esa parte de la tres y el, y el, el número de ejercicio para yo solo reenviar el mensaje. Ok. Compartí. Voy a dejar de compartir. Y le voy a enviar a la Ahí me lo envío entonces, Rocío. Sí, ahorita. Me manda la captura también donde aparece el puntaje que no, no cuadra porque están juntas las dos respuestas. Yeah, okay, very nice. Good. How do you keep your brothers more better in your okay? You don't have uh, any any dangerous for the employees. Wearing the Mariah right clothes. Hmm? Wearing the right clothes. Ajá. For example, the case, the use for, of danger. For example, I uh, work in the army and in the plan, the, the employees use uh, 
Right. Also using a, 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 I, I don't know how can you say a tampones for the application espalda tu espalda, espalda recta entiendo yo ajá así es ese sería for forklift and material handling equipment ajá ah no manual lifting manual lifting lifting es de de sería eh, de eleva de elevación o no Yes, and when you need to leave something, you need, need your back Le straight. Lift, lifting. Levantamiento is lifting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Letter okay. D. Letter D, yes. Okay. And the letter E is teach employee to put manual material handling equipment wherever possible rather than pull loads. Aquí mm -hmm. es, in this, I think, is manual lifting too. To teach employees to put manual material handling equipment whenever possible rather mm -hmm. than pull loads. Yes. Yeah. Is the letter E. Okay, and the F. F. Does the load before lifting it? If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Test the load before lifting. If it's too heavy or bulky, get help. Uh, mm. Primero, primero evaluamos si lo podemos levantar. Uh -huh. Si es demasiado pesado o no sé qué es bulky. Sí, es manolífico. Uh -huh. Ok. En G, keep dogs en floor free as boxes, oh. garbage, boxes, bailing materials, dirt, dirt. Eh, ok, this is general housekeeping. O maybe. False and other pre prevent preventable niche yes, ups. Yes. Okay. Right there. Okay. And permit access to a bow, floor, uh, floor racks, and shelves only if portable ladder. These uh, devices are available. What is the meaning shelf? Shelf. I don't know. It's Dante's, I think. Ay, Vanessa, aquí está. Yo voy a decir hello, hello, y no me escuchaba. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, perdón. Y yo también yo pensé... a, a decir el de los shelves, y pues también, y pensé que Vanessa estaba participando con ustedes. De verdad. Ay, no, perdón, Vanessa. <laughs> no, don't worry. I enter late. <laughs> ah, ok. Entonces, de, va, la última, vaya, para que, para que participe. The last one. For please and material handle equipment. Mm, for me is letter mm, mm, E. Teach employees to push manual material handle equipment whenever possible rather than pull loads. Or, or aquí, no, here. E, letter E, and e, good e, e, no, no, E, e. for me, E, and the raise, and the raise, lifting, mm -hmm. and letter A, too. Sorry, I don't understand. The letter, the last one is the letter A. Yes, okay, can you change the letter E to manual lifting? Letter E. E, yes, erase. Okay, and? And move to forklift and material handling equipment. 
Okay. Very good. Good job. Okay. Okay, teacher, we'll finish. Okay, very nice. Good. The rest, I think that I have in a little bit troubles. We're going to wait for them a little bit minutes, okay? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. I have a question. Uh huh. I complete. I completed the platform. Mm -hmm. In this part, um, the same exercise is in the platform. So, in the result, um, it it says fifteen slash twenty, and yeah. I have all the the answers correct. So uh, what the what same. Uh huh. It is the activity three point nine right? Uh -huh, yeah. Yes, I have the same situation. Yeah, I think all of you have the same situation. Um, mm -hmm. um, um, the uh, Rosibel told me about it, and now I reported. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. It's going to be fixed. I don't know in uh, if tomorrow, but it's going to be fixed. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's what I noticed right now. <laughs> this is the exercise to talk about the least or most affects productivity. Mm -hmm. Is the exercise before we ah. did we did the exercise? Uh, this ah. one, Carlos. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to take a picture, mm -hmm. yeah. yes, thank you. Okay. Is it is hot? Eh? Forklift and material handling handling equipment. Es que. No. Es que con la, la tercera si habla de como, como carga manual o algo así. Y a la, la última habla como de a la hora de cargar, pero con monta carga y, y algo así. Y, le va a hacer, algo así lo entiendo. ¿Qué estás tomando? I don't know. I La can bebe. take a decision. Hmm. Permit access to a ball, flow, grass, and shelves only if portable planners or appropriate lifting device are available. Me inclino por la tercera, manual lifting. Porque Manual hasta para alzar cajas creo que hay una norma que hay que como que agachar. Sí, no se pueden agachar. Uh -huh. Eso sí. ¿Quiere más difícil? Ah. Eso <ríe> sí. Yo también. Tengo que reunirme a las 11 de la noche con un grupo. De... Oh, no. no podría. Well, well, option. Ah, yo creo que es la D. Sería la de four in material handling equipment. Yeah, for teach. Teacher. No, está bien. Yes. Teacher, en español. <laughs> okay, very nice. We have two different opinions with the literal D. Literal D. D, okay, keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. that, that one. Debbie says, 
the option correct, uh, the option, option right is the, the last four list, four, four list and material and handling, handling equipment. equipment. And mm -hmm. I think that correct is the chair, man, manual lifting. Okay. When we talk about four uh, lift and material handling equipment, uh, those are the ones that maybe you use a machine, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And manual lifting is the one that you do uh, with your force. Entonces, si sería keep your back straight. Aha, uh -huh. it could be manual which one? Manual lifting, ¿verdad? Manual lifting. Yes. Ajá, porque lo dice es que mantenga su espalda recta, ¿verdad? Y que no se doble ¿verdad? mucho, tal vez un poquitito, ¿verdad? Normal, pero que no mucho, ¿por qué? Porque si no, entonces ahí sí nos toca, ¿verdad? Lo perdimos. Ahí ya. <risa> ¿Nos va a tocar caminar así de lado o ya no vamos a poder caminar? Bien, ¿verdad? Eso de la columna es bien delicado. Ay, sí. sí. Ok, very nice. ¿Ya casi terminan? Vamos. Ok, very nice. Oh. Yeah. Um, Do you finish already? I think it's a bad. Manual lifting is, is like to a sensor. No. Which one? Manual lifting. Okay, manual lifting is the one that you do it uh, like by force. By the force. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yes. And then when we use machines for, for cliffs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you clear, Trini? Hello, Trini? Yeah. Okay. Is a for a manual. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will continue a little bit, then I will try. I'll stop sharing. Hmm? Okay. I'll stop sharing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. Mm -hmm. I will complete the task three, four, five because it was not completed for me. Okay. Oh, chica, pero qué bonito le quedó. Vanessa, are you, are you crying or laughing? Yeah. Both. Both of them? Both. Oh, why, why? Carlos, make us cry and laugh. Oh. Okay, so uh, <laughs> it, it's not my intention. Okay, Carlos, how can you do that? Make make them laugh and then cry at the same time. T tell me the secret. They, they, they cry for happiness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Awesome. So it yeah, means that yeah. you you were uh, discussing something really fine, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
<risa> Ay, no. Ok, el bro. El video que mandó en el chat, no sé si usted lo puede ver. <risa> en el chat del Pero grupo. De nosotros aquí, ¿ah? ¿Quién mandó video? No me ha caído. ¿Cuándo? No, ahorita, no, en el chat de nuestro grupo. Right now. Ah, no, me aparece porque como cada vez que yo vengo de... Ahí se lo mandó, ve. Mire, le ría así con nosotros. Ok, ok, vamos. <ríe> es una situación vivida por Aminda. Last night. A real situation of the life. <ríe> about, about last night. <ríe> lo vamos a llamar. <ríe> no, no, no. Ok. Ok. Vamos a check. Ok. ¿Cómo se dice castor en inglés, teacher? Beaver. ¿Oh? ¿Cómo? Beaver, I think. Quiero ver. Beaver, beaver. Mm. No. Yeah, beaver. 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 It's like I... beer, but with V E R. Beaver. Beaver. Beer, beaver. I... I, I remember the ah, cartoon, beaver. Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers. Angry, mm, no, no. Angry Beavers era otro. Uh, Angry no. Beavers. No, no, no. <laughs> In Nickelodeon was a, the, the a Angry cartoon beaver, but I know what is the name. The Angry Beavers. Angry Beaver. Yes. Mm, I don't remember. Ah, ah, se llamaba Ingrid Beaver. De los really? castores cascar. Ah, castores cascar. Algo así creo que era en español. Yes, this is a old cartoon. Ingrid Beaver. Ah. Oh. When I was young. I already watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Amiga vivió eso. <laughs> It was it was really fun and totally it was really fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, very right nice. And uh, I think we're going to be back right now because there there were just two teams missing. Okay. Okay. Angry beepers. <laughs> it's very funny, cartoon. You can see in English. Easy. Toda una vida juntos. Es posible con un gran comienzo. Dale purina top, chao cachorros. Teacher. I have a question. Tell me, Letty. Leticia. Teacher, we are going to the platform. Yeah, unit three. Because you already have one unit one and unit two and the, the midterm, right? So right uh, you need to finish unit three. Uh, 
Okay, students, awesome, very good. So I think you all finished, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Okay, give me a chance. Can you watch the screen? Yes. Okay. Um, let me listen to who wants to really volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Vanessa. There is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and TPLS look at the safety as meeting the min minimum instructed by the law of their conscience. In conscious. The run, conscious. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost savings through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity. Productivity. Increased productivity. Increased productivity. Fewer increased. The increased. Increased. Uh huh. Productivity. Increased productivity. Fewer workplace disruptions and reduced absenteeism and equipment downtime. Very nice. Good. Awesome. Now, let me listen to someone else to help me with this one. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Don't expect employees to start with a culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational chains and training and education programs start with you. Awesome, very nice, good. Thank you. Okay, what about you, Yvette? Can you please read the, the one that I marked at the last one, this one? Yvette? Okay, Debbie? Qual teacher? Esta. The following the are the following are some measures you could start implement with your team. Okay, very nice, very nice. The following are some measures that could start implementing with your team. Okay, very nice. Good. Ahora vamos a ver eh, las que ustedes estuvieron trabajando, trabajando, verdad? Ok, vamos a ir leyendo y vamos a ir analizando en cuál es la, la tabla que podía quedar. Ok, vamos a ver number one. Can you please... Uh, let me listen to Carlos. Can you please read number one? Ok. Make sure that garbage and debris bins are available to, to, to the warehouse. Ok, very nice. Make sure the garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Which one uh, is according to you label here? In quality. Letter A. Letter A, right? General, General housekeeping. housekeeping. General housekeeping, okay. All of you have the same or you have a different chart? Todo tiene igual o tiene algunos en diferente cuadro ese. Letter A. The same. The same. Okay, letter A. Very nice. Good. It's correct. Let's go with letter B. Okay. Um, let me listen for letter B to Adela. Can you please read letter B? Block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. Okay. Keep. I'm sorry, block access to exposed or open loading dock doors. Okay, which one is letter B according to you? In which chart? Fire and other preventable measure. 
Okay, very nice. The rest, do you have the same or different? The same? Yes, teacher. Okay, letter B, false and other preventable missions. Okay, very good, awesome. What about letter C? Okay, let me listen to uh, let me listen to Debbie. Okay, Rosibel. Uh, keep eyes and passaways clear at all times. Okay, which one do you have on letter C? In which chart? In forklifts and material handling equipment. Forklifts and material handling equipment. Okay, mm -hmm. letter C. The rest, do you have the same in here or in different one? I have different issues. Okay, which one do you have, Letter C? Uh, letter C is general housekeeping. Okay, general housekeeping. So keep items and password clear at all the time. General housekeeping, housekeeping. Okay. Keep items and passways clear at all the times. Okay. Do you have uh, something different or the same as uh, Minda or the same? of um, Rosibel. The same for life and material handling equipment. Okay, for fleece and material handling equipment. Okay, the correct is, yes. For fleece and material handling equipments. Okay, in this case, they are asking for clear Islas and pathway because they also use machines in order to forklift something. So they need a, to be a clear spaces. That's why using letter C, right? Okay, very nice, good. Let's go with letter D. Okay, can you please read letter D, Adela? Keep your back straight, don't bend over. Keep your back straight. Straight, repeat, straight. A straight. Mm -hmm. Don't bend over. Okay, which one do you have in letter D? Adela? Manual lifting. Manual lifting, what about the rest? Do you have the same or something different? Uh, <laughs> uh, manual lifting for me. Okay, very nice. Manual lifting, very good. That's the correct one. Okay, let's go with letter E. Can you please help me to read letter E, Aminda? Letter E. Mm -hmm. E, uh-huh, yes. Okay. Tips employees to put manual materials handling equipment wherever possible, rather the pull loads. Okay, teach employees to push manual materials handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads. Okay, very nice. Which one do you have here? In fourth um for lift and material handling equipment. Okay, yes, that's the correct one. Letter E for Aminda is letter E in for lifts. Do someone have something different or the same? Okay, very nice. Good. Vamos con la siguiente. Letter F. 
Test the law before leaving it, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver acá si me lo lee Ivet. Test the law before leaving it. If it is too heavy, heavy, heavy or bulky, get help. Heavy or bulky, get help. Okay. So, which one it is? Mm, manual lifting. Manual lifting, that F. Okay, do you have the same or something different? Students? The same. The same. The okay. same. Okay, very nice. Good. That's the correct one. Let's go with the next one. Letter G. Can you please help me to read letter G, Rosibel? Keep top and floors free or box, garbage boxes, valley materials, debris, steel, and oil. Which one do you have there? Uh, in general housekeeping. General housekeeping? Yeah. Okay, G. Very nice, good, awesome. The last one, Vanessa, can you please help me to read the last one? Letter H, permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if Portable ladders, ladders, or or appropriate lift, lifting lifting devices are available. For me, is letter no, it's for for lift and material handling equipment. Okay, for lift and material handling equipment is about uh, letter H here, right? Yeah, for me. Okay. What about the rest one? Do you have something different or the same? Falling other preventable my mishaps. Falls and other preventable mishaps. That's the one you have there, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So the rest, which one do you have in the four leaves? Materials or false and other preventable mission. False and other preventable. Very nice. It's false and other preventable mishaps. Very good. Awesome. Okay, students. That's the correct way in order to talk about this part of the speak. Okay. So we finished unit three. So we have to start unit number four. Okay. It's going to, uh, we're going to start working tomorrow with it because to, today we are ready, right? So uh, we're going to talk about some specific topics about inventory and we're going to talk about uh, reasons or something like that that we need to, to work. So we have um, so many activities to do. Um, as I told you yesterday, we are just missing, besides that, uh, four classes more. Después de esto solo nos quedan cuatro clases más, ¿verdad? La del mañana jueves, la del viernes, lunes y martes. Y luego quedan free. Ya no van a ver al teacher, ¿verdad? Ya no, van a ustedes a descansar, van a dormir temprano. Ya no van a estar con sueño. Oh, ok, teacher, yes. ¿Verdad? Ya van a estar relajadas, relajados. Very good. Ok, ya no se van a enfermar, ya, ya no van a tener ese trauma que tengo que estar en la clase, no, ya van a estar relax. Ok, very nice. Ahora, eh, sí necesito que eh, terminemos las actividades, ¿verdad? Hay algunos que todavía no me han terminado las actividades de las semanas anteriores y necesito que las terminemos. Eh, igual, pues, que vayamos con las que ahorita de Unit 3 necesitamos terminarla para que quedemos bien, ¿verdad? Ok, y luego de eso, pues, que... Eh, también estemos en las clases por los minutos ustedes necesitan los minutos y si eh, ya faltan en estas últimas prácticamente los minutos va a ser difícil que los recuperen porque ya no tienen mayor margen así que eh, espero eso de ustedes verdad para estas clases que faltan ok, very nice uh, voy a pasar la attendance list as soon as you listen you know, please tell me present ok ok <coughs> 
Very nice. Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Present. Very nice. With a lot of with a lot of energy, verdad, Adela? Yeah. Okay, very I nice. Sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> okay, very nice. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay, very nice. Belén Batre García. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Okay. Debbie Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Present. Very nice. With a lot of energy, Debbie. Oh, teacher. Okay, Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabe. Present teacher. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. O ok. Oscar Anulfo Viatoro Herrera. Present. Ok, Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Salvador Augusto Soto Rivas. Present, mister. Ok, very nice. Sonia Ibeta Alvarenga. Present. Ok. Vanessa no Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Ok. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, students. So, um, see you tomorrow at the same hour, in the same channel, in the same place, okay? Good night. Good night, Thank students. You, Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. Can you listen to me, Valen? <laughs>